Good morning, everybody. Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People, September 8th, 2021. Four minutes to 3 a.m. here in Yucatan, Mexico. One more report here before I go to bed. Hopefully, go to bed. Anyway, uh, spaceweather.com, we have an update here. And I'm going to share a video with you about the CME that is on the way to Earth right now. But uh, I want to share this first here with you. Earth-directed solar flare. Today began, uh, September 8th, today began with an explosion on the sun just after UT midnight on September 8th. Okay, so this is a new one just happened here sunspot AR 2864 unleashed a C2 class solar flare okay I guess you can see the movie of it okay that's the movie of it a pulse of UV radiation ionized Earth's atmosphere briefly disturbing shortwave radio propagation around the Pacific Rim the explosion might have hurled a CME into space. Confirmation is pending fresh data from SOHO. Okay. Now this, uh, someone sent me information about the Mexico earthquake that happened and that there were huge bursts of lightning together with that. I'm almost wondering if the things that are happening right now, maybe even this earthquake and all the electricity uh, is coming from these solar flares the uh, Sun has been acting up a lot more than normal lately and we've got more information here from this uh, spaceweather.com okay the next piece of information I want to share with you here is this sunspot AR 2866 I've shared a few videos on this but this is rapidly growing in size. Big Sunspot AR2866 is almost directly facing Earth and it's getting bigger. Austrian astrophotographer Michael Carrer watched it double in size in only 24 hours. Okay. Now, goes, goes on to say one of the largest sunspots in years. AR2868 contains more than a dozen dark cores over an area as wide as the planet Jupiter. These so between 2866 and 2868, the huge sunspots that are rapidly growing on the uh, face of the uh, on the face of the sun. Okay. Now I want to share this information with you. <clears throat> CME inbound to hit planet Earth September 10th 2021 here is the information from this video and I will share a link with you all the links with you in the description box I pray you're blessed this is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people the sign of his coming revealed James Kaufman World News Report today today is September 7th 2021 2 30 p.m. Central here in the USA God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a flare that's inbound. It looks like it will be hitting planet Earth on the 10th. Uh, we're getting our information from NASA and from the European Space Agency as NOAA is not reporting this flare. This is, in fact, the B-Class++ flare that uh, popped off at some point yesterday. And they have it, uh, well, on the NASA ISWA spiral, hitting planet Earth as a quote-unquote direct hit in or around the 10th. The 10th, i.e. in three days, ladies and gentlemen. A four-day trip, the usual time period that we're looking for. We're going to jump from Iswa here. Uh, planet Earth is this yellow dot right here. And these are satellites and the inner solar system planets. This is your legend up here. The easiest way to look at it is from over here. Zero degrees being the sun. All of this plasma hitting us 
I don't understand why the, it just appears. I guess it is a fast-moving uh, CME that will miss stereo ahead somehow. Now, if this is a B-class flare, we've got problems, ladies and gentlemen. The European Space Agency has this coming in at about 65 to 70 centimeters cubed. The density will be huge if that is the actual number. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not showing up uh, anywhere, but again, the European Space Agency. Please notice that direct hit right there with the black off the charts. So it really could be, well, the charts end at 60, so there's no telling how strong the CME will be. Uh, coronal mass ejection, folks. We'll keep our eyes on this and keep you updated.